what would it be studying collisions without using some hockey pucks? Here we have a hockey puck moving with some initial velocity of 2.5 meters per second that rams into a stationary hockey puck, after which the red hockey puck starts moving with 2.5 meters per second worth of velocity. And we want to know what's the final velocity of our blue puck. Let's set it up and see. So these are our two situations. This will be our initial situation, and this one will be our final situation. But before doing the math, you might want to think, what might I expect it to be? And energy might give you a clue here. I'm going to proceed with the momentum calculations, though, and say my initial energy is going to equal my final because I have no net external forces, only internal forces between these pucks. So with them both in my system, I'll conserve energy. And I can then say that, well, if my total momentum of my system initially is equal to my total momentum of my system finally, that means that my mass of my red puck times my velocity of my red puck initially, plus my mass of my blue puck times my velocity of my blue puck initially, has to equal the same stuff Finally. We can say that the velocity of the red puck initially is zero because it starts at rest. And we want to solve for our final velocity of the blue puck. We'll do a little bit of algebra. Subtract mr vf from both sides. So that we can try and get the VBF by itself, and we'll rewrite it here. MB VBF is equal to MB VBI minus MR VF. And actually, I should probably have called this V. RF. Let's go and retcon our way into a VRF because we have the red final and the blue final. We'll now divide both sides by MB to cancel it out there. And we're left with our velocity of our blue puck finally equaling this nonsense. We can plug in our values. And what you should find is that we end up with zero final velocity. 